Hey, hi, hello, sirs and sirs of YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing a Draw My Life video, which is actually something that I said I wasn't going to do in my Draw My Harlem Valentine's Day video, but I decided that I actually wanted to do it. I actually wanted to do it all along. I just, I kept it a secret from you. I deceived you all. So hooray, let's, let's get this party started up in this place, yo. So let's start with when I was born. I was... I was born in a hospital, like most people were, and it was a military hospital. It was on a military base because my dad was in the Navy for a long time, you know. It was like, had barbed wire and everything, and I was just a radiant little kid. Um, that changed very quickly. <laughs> and I also moved a whole lot because of the military. I started in Texas, I moved to Washington from there, back to Texas, and then I moved to where I am currently residing, which is Florida. And I had mixed feelings about Florida, but we'll get into that later. Let's talk about the Texas years. I actually moved back to Texas when I was like three or four, but I would like to discuss the time period where I was living in Houston, which was actually when I was from about age seven to age 13. So I spent six years of my life there, which may not seem like a lot to some people, but I'm not that old. So here I am. And this was an interesting time period for me because a lot of different things happened a lot of good happened, but at the same time, a lot of bad happened. There was, the bad things were the ones that I tried to push aside for a really long time. But then something kind of changed in my life, and that was the fact that I was going to be moving to Florida. Also, some people may call it the happiest place on earth. But at the time, I most certainly did not feel like it was the happiest place on earth. So my ongoing joke then was the happiest place on earth minus one. Yeah, that was just how upset I was about moving. And naturally, you know, I made a pretty big deal about it. I used to cry about it all the time. And looking back at it, I feel like I was acting a little bit ridiculous. But this is also marking the time period where I was not a happy camper. And to say I wasn't a happy camper is actually an understatement. This was also the time period of my life where I really entered the depression stage of my life. I was miserable all the time and all these things that people had called me when I was younger that I had always pushed off and acted like they didn't bother me suddenly came back to like haunt me and take a bite at me and it was just I felt like I was constantly surrounded by this big black cloud of worry that everyone was going to hate me when I moved and that actually led to me being someone who I'm not I became very dark very like reclusive almost I was very reserved from everyone else and I pretty much entered my what some kids would call their emo stage except my emo stage was a little bit more oh gosh I was like under a constant rain cloud all the time it was like I constantly felt like all of this worry and all the stress was just raining down upon me and it put a wall between me and society like the people who may actually want to be my friend which was really sucky now for any of you guys who've been watching me long enough know that I have trouble sleeping sometimes and this is not something new to my life it's been around for a while so whenever I can't sleep I tend to go on my iPod and I'll watch like videos or I will just I'll go onto the laptop and I started watching YouTube one night like really getting into it I started watching Amazing Phil and Dana's Non Fire and Shane Dawson and all these other people and it inspired me to do something and it also opened up this whole different dimension to me. It was like a whole new world was created within my computer screen. And I would have to say that me getting on YouTube that night was one of the best decisions I've made because it has opened up this whole new world. It's connecting me to so many people that I never would have even watched. Like Amazing Phil and Dan's on Fire and Kick the PJ and I've met Megan, I met Danielle and I met all of these really great people. And all of these people have been an inspiration to me to continue what I do now and what I do now is I make videos on the internet I hope that they entertain you guys and pretty much all I do is I talk about my life and for some reason you guys took a liking to me and now there's quite a few of you there's 254 of you as of now and I just know that number is gonna keep growing because you guys are seriously like the best people on earth so I guess that leads me into the last segment of my video, which is where I am going to say thank you to all of you who have stuck by my side from day one or the people who have just subscribed to me recently. Thank you for being here. I absolutely love all of you to death and I don't know what I would be doing without you guys supporting me right now. 
And also because, you know, this is a draw my life, I am going to tag two of my lovely YouTube friends, my friend Lion Jams, who is also known as Danielle, as well as I would like to tag Megan Gore, because I would like to see you guys draw your life. So that was my draw my life. I hope you guys liked watching me talk about things that have happened in my life. It was kind of interesting to reflect back on things considering it's my birthday today. Anyways, that's all I really have to say today. Hope you guys have a good whatever time of the day is where you are in the universe, and I love you guys a lot. Talk to you later.